then some more club races me and my friend Henrik uh, who joined all races during autumn um, uh, sailed together and it was uh, not uh, windy at all you will see what's happening super 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 light but actually the dash goes pretty good in not in light wind but when it's super light it's um, not bad at all. Also, it's some um, some condition zero to two knots of wind. It it's doing very well. Uh, and um, uh, we had a great time. Maybe we came second place or third or something like that. Um, uh, I don't remember exactly, but. Uh, We did very well then. As the title said, we messed up the last boy uh, that we should go around. We took on the wrong side here. We realized, but oh, okay, we should go the other, other way. That uh, indicates in the arrow there. And yeah, so, so stupid, but uh, we managed to go around again the correct way. And actually it's a Melgis 24 that rounded just before us here and they yeah, got stuck in no wind and we could with our code zero you can see they're uh, doing like one two knots when other boats are doing zero and yeah not, uh, not bad at all for the boat. So I fast forward here in the in the video. You see one, two knots all, all the time. So it's uh, it's not uh, not so not so bad compared to the others. Of course, it's very slow, but uh, yeah. I don't remember the date there. Okay, it's um, end of September. Uh, super warm, you see. End of September still. I have an have a, uh, not too much on me. So yeah, great race. Then I think it was the last last club sailing of the, of the year. We uh, again great weather, warm and uh, super light wind. Uh, and we, I brought two drone, two of my drones. We were flying a bit during sailing. Uh, yeah, race 17. So we fl were flying. It's it's not that easy to sail and fly for me uh, at the same time. But and uh, the most difficult thing is of course to land the drone on the boat. It's moving and it. Uh, anyway. They didn't crash, it went uh, pretty well and we got uh, lots of good shots. What happens then uh, in, uh, in the race? Yeah, no wind at all, the, start, the sun starting to go down and yeah, we're going in quite okay in the super light wind. Push the weight a bit forward, uh, also far forward we can. See, I'm sitting in the front net there. Henrik, Henrik he's steering the boat uh, very well. He had uh, some more patience than me he, uh, with those light conditions. Uh, not much to complain about. Then the sun is going down uh, more, and we ended up first. We started last, but we ended up first in close to a CB66 that came. I think it was Göran Jonsson that uh, cashed up a lot in the end. But, uh, we managed to get uh, the Finnish shirt. So you say that? Finnish? Yeah. We managed to finish first. And flying around a bit when the other boats uh, tried to reach the goal. 
uh, did some more drone flying around in the beef jordan. Not, not too bad. And uh, did something more happen? We just, we just landed and ended the race. Yeah, quite good ending. Uh, then we had our uh, local race, Röde Pokala, uh, Red Island Trophy 2021. Uh, and what was special here, not too many boats, it's like uh, five boats in a race or so. But the wind was from south, not too little, it was um, gusty, but it was um, very much from the south, and that means maybe I should show the chart here again. Or map. There, that means oh, let me show you a pause. That means that uh, wind coming from here, you see, we got wind from the side the first third of the race, then we have the upwind that we did pretty good, uh, me and my dad, and then uh, downwind, here we could have gone faster, we didn't use the Yenmaker, I was getting too tired to do that, but then we got a super long um, leg here with wind from the side, it's very much optimized for a multi-hole, co I couldn't ask for a better wind direction. Uh, I could, uh, yeah, if we have been sailing with maybe the Jennacker during the downwind here, then we could have uh, been a bit faster. I think we ended up second, uh, recalculated um, in race, so it was pretty good. Uh, and uh, of course, we ended up first among those boats here. Uh, we it was pretty gusty. We cheated in, pulled out, uh, rolled out the Code Zero. The other ones, uh, yeah. What could they do? Uh, when the gust came, came, we accelerated to eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve knots. It's not easy to mono holds to. Or do anything about that uh, as we were supposed to be a lot faster than the other boats as well so no blame there but it was a, a very lucky wind direction uh, and we came second overall uh, yeah uh, good race uh, could have been a little less rain and a little less clouds but uh, uh, yeah, not, uh, not bad at all. Okay, so then what happened? What happens next? Um, I got in um, contact again with uh, John and uh, we, we talked about. Um, Doing one um, last, uh, uh, doing one uh, sail together uh, in um, Svendborg in Denmark. So he asked if I wanted to go there and sail with him uh, during uh, one one day. So we started to plan for that. Uh, we had one day in mind, but that day became uh, very stormy. It was another race at that time that uh, yeah half of the boat uh, break and so on, so we, we cancel it. But then two weeks later, in the end of October, uh, the weather looked very promising, and uh, I drove down to Svendborg, six hours drive, and. Um, uh, to, to sail with Jan in his super fast Black Marlin trimaran. And I mounted up uh, all my tech gear so we could have some good shots. Uh, 
like yeah, three cameras, uh, one 360 and uh, the other two regular action cams and so on. Uh, and we went out uh, for sailing. But then, in the harbor, before any race, uh, something happens. Uh, I will show you in the end here. I think some of you have seen it already, of course. Um, and I will explain what actually happens uh, here. So, uh, I am used to my Corsair Dash and the Corsair have like a net in the front of the boat here. Black Marlin does not have that. <laughs> so when I was going back, uh, I was uh, by... Uh, yeah, uh, I, 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 I didn't watch down too much. I had the sun in my eyes as well, but I just, uh, my body just expected it to be a net here. It wasn't and I uh, fell in. Uh, so this is actually before any sailing at all. Uh, so I have the 360 cam as well, so you can see it from another angle. I used to have a net there, it wasn't. So I fell in uh, and uh, got soaked uh, even before we have even hoist our sails. And the problem was also that I had my cell phone on me. I had my extra cell phone because I thought let's have two cell phones if something some of them got wet. Uh, so but both of them were uh, soaked. So then after this I couldn't fly the drone. So that's why it's so little drone footage because I couldn't connect to a drone when they were nearly dead, the phones. And um, but uh, uh, we were out sailing around some islands for uh, like three, four hours uh, anyway. And it was uh, Jan, uh, super friendly, very skilled sailor. Uh, and uh, we were pushing the boat a bit. Uh, however, you can see that I haven't pulled the Cunningham. John told me, <laughs> told me to pull the Cunningham. I never did that properly. Some people have complained about that. Yeah, of course we could have gone even a little faster if I had done that. We, we never used any Code Zero or anything like that because it was windy enough to um, sail with the um, full main. And it I don't know what the wind was, maybe 20 knots. Uh, one of the best day during the whole year I would say with the uh, for sailing trimarans so really good condition I was a bit freezing because I, I didn't change my clothes so I didn't have any clothes to change to uh, right then and um, we needed to go out so there first we planned to go even further but then uh, we didn't so yeah uh, amazing amazing day uh, in Denmark uh, and um, yeah. very friendly of Jan to let me sail with him and show what was unexpected as well uh, is that uh, Black Marlin doesn't have too much tech. Uh, I'm, I have too much, te too much tech on my boat like I have two, two uh, plotters uh, and I have uh, some different speeds and uh, short and everything like that. Black Marlin doesn't um, and Jan um, is very skilled in this area so maybe he doesn't need anything like that. He used his phone every now and then just to check some shallow water but except from that we were just sailing without any uh, not meters, any plotters or anything like that. So you can see the speed here afterwards of course in, in the video. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, impressive boat, a very skilled sailor, Jan Andersson. And I hope I will, uh, yeah, sometime 
sail with him again if, uh, if possible. Who knows? Yeah, I created a separate, um, separate swim video just uh, to emphasize when I fell in here for you to watch, so you don't need to watch uh, everything. Then also I created another version of the video. Jan is nominated with Black Marlin to the multi-hall of the year. Maybe I will add a link here um, in the description and you can go in later on and vote. So we created or I created more like a promotion video for Jan, Marlin 33, Marlin Trimarans. We have most of the clips from the previous videos here. Uh, I cut away some parts that didn't fit. Also, we added some more, I think, drone photos from uh, that I haven't done uh, from previous uh, sailings this year that Jan had. Uh, so it's more like a promotion video for Marlin 33 that he's uh, is selling. Uh, and uh, yeah, quite similar, but uh, a lot shorter and uh, more focus on the boat and not our adventure that day. No bloopers or anything like that. And then, and then what happens last in November? Uh, I went to Marstrand. Again, it was snowing and so on. I was there actually to uh, film, uh, do some video with the drones for um, a guy in our club, uh, Per Beck, that wanted to us wanted me to film the race, uh, Frostbite 2021. But Per was sick, so he couldn't show up uh, and. Uh, Instead, uh, when I was there, the Jöran Jonsson asked me if uh, I do want to join uh, sailing instead. We are missing one guy and I thought, okay, let's do some sailing instead of some filming. So it was actually a, uh, one more sail uh, in the autumn, end of, end of November. It was snowing, but it... Uh, was kind of quite okay. I had my like regular clothes with a hoodie uh, on me. It's no sailing clothes at all. I borrowed a life jacket from the uh, sailing committee boat and then um, uh, regular gloves. Uh, pretty cold but uh, uh, it went uh, okay. So, Okay, and I think this end of the year, it's uh, still one week left of the year, but I don't think it will be any more sailing. Uh, maybe something else, uh, if I have time to do something, uh, some more tech video about some gears, maybe something with the autopilot that uh, a friend of mine modded, or yeah, let's see. But uh, this is the rewind of 2021, what uh, actually happens, and um, yeah, it, it was a great sailing year, going super fast in the beginning, super fast in the end, but in the middle it was uh, not uh, not too much wind. So, but hope you hope you like it. Hope 2022 will be a great year as well. And for all of you that watching, thanks a lot for watching my videos. Uh, thanks a lot for supporting me and. Um, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!